So these are shock coilovers that are stuck inside the uh, housing. So they no longer can be lifted or dropped because they are stuck, they are seized, uh, probably from rainwater, debris, whatever. So my buddy here got them cheap, um, used, good working order, but they're just seized. So we're trying to unseize them and, and what we need to do here is uh, we, we need to heat up the housing, which is this part here. We heat it up a little bit so it expands. You're not supposed to heat these up because you could blow it up. There's gas compressed in here. But if you heat it up a little bit, uh, like on a hot uh, summer day, that, that kind of heat, which is normal, it'll expand a little bit. And then you can spray um, WD-40 in here or, or a PB breaker. And as it expands, you'll, you'll see that the WD-40 or PB breaker starts going down these threads and you'll see bubbles start coming up which means it's, it's displacing uh, the, 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 the air that's stuck in the in the threads in this housing. So this housing here to here it, it separates from this which is the actual shock. There's compressed gas in here. This housing comes off. Now this housing looks as if it, it has a gap down here. I don't know if you can see this. Look like somebody started uh, opening this up at one time and, and it just froze this way. So we tried everything to unfreeze this but what we're trying now is a little bit of heat and we're trying um, and we're trying to, to do the, 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 the tapping. After we heat it up we could see the liquid going down, the bubbles coming up and then we're tapping it with a hammer all the way around so that, that, so that could more, more uh, liquid could go down into it. And then after that, uh, after about an hour of that we're gonna try and see if we could turn this from this and get everything lubricated again. So we'll see what happens. Uh, stay tuned for the second video.